and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at practice questions for the rates topic of higher chemistry. This graph here shows the volume of hydrogen gas which is produced in the reaction above using excess lumps of zinc with 50 ml of 1 molar hydrochloric acid. If we are to change the acid to 100 ml of 1 molar hydrochloric acid, then we'll produce double the volume of gas. The speed of the reaction will be roughly the same. So we can draw a line in here to show where the gas would finish. If we were to use the same original acid, but replace it with powdered zinc, then the reaction would be faster, but we would finish at the same volume of gas, as shown by the green line. This graph here shows the kinetic energy of molecules at a certain temperature. As you can see, most of the molecules have a kinetic energy somewhere roughly in the middle. We can draw on another line to show the kinetic energy of the molecules at a lower temperature. This shifts slightly to the left and is higher up, whereas for a hotter temperature, it will shift slightly to the right and is lower down. This is because the area under the curve needs to remain the same. We can add in a line to show the activation energy of the reaction. At a low temperature, only the blue shaded area have enough energy to react. At the medium temperature, we can add in the black shaded line, and at a higher temperature, the red shaded line. You have the top equation in your data book. This allows you to calculate rate from time. You should also be able to calculate time from relative rate. Questions which ask you to do this often require you to find the relative rate using a graph and then calculate the time for that reaction. This graph shows the potential energy for a reaction in progress, going from reactants to products. We can calculate the enthalpy change for the reaction by taking the enthalpy at the products minus the enthalpy at the reactants. That will give us this value here. The enthalpy change for the reverse reaction will have the same value but the sign will be changed. We can also calculate the activation energy for both the forward and reverse reaction. It is the distance from the reactants to the top of the hill for the forward reaction and the distance from the products to the top of the hill for the backwards reaction. Addition of a catalyst will make this value lower for both reactions. Pause the video now and try the following questions. and try these questions. Pause the video now and try these calculations. Pause the video now and try this question.
pause the video now and try these final questions. Thank you for watching my video, I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. You can also follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for updates on new videos and flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now!